What's up guys, Random Razor here with another tech video for you guys today. And this video just want to give you guys an updated review on the Incase hard shell case that I got from my MacBook Pro about a month and a half ago. And I just want to give you guys an updated review and my overall experiences with it and whether or not I recommend this product. But anyways, the first thing I just want to say guys, this is definitely one of my number one accessories I do recommend getting for your MacBook Pro. Uh, mainly because you got straight on, you know, protection right on the MacBook. You don't have to get a sleeve or anything. Uh, however, I do recommend getting a sleeve just so it will make it a lot more easier to carry around. But um, definitely one of my number one top accessories I recommend getting for it if you do decide to get a MacBook Pro, say uh, for Chris or something, which is in a couple days now. But um, anyways, yeah, definitely recommend the one from Incase, maybe because in my personal opinion, uh, better quality than everything else on the market, or at least uh, for cases uh, for the MacBook. I think there was Spec and one other one that makes cases for the uh, MacBooks and MacBook Pros. But Incase, in my opinion, is far more uh, superior quality. But um, anyways, there are three other colors, which are green, blue, and I think pink or purple, and of course uh, frost white, which is one I have. And um, two things a lot of people uh, say about the uh, cases, uh, or at least plastic cases for the uh, MacBooks, is they make them look ugly and they scratch your MacBook. In terms of appearance, I don't know about you guys, but this looks pretty nice to me. It still looks like a MacBook Pro. Uh, the Frost White Edition definitely looks uh, very attractive, and you know, there's nothing really to complain about. Still keeps you know the slim look and elegant design of the MacBook Pro itself. Of course, it will add a bit of thickness, but not really that much. But you know, it's definitely uh, worth it for the amount of protection that you do get. Uh, in terms of scratching, um, it's a plastic case, so I will say dust and stuff, you know, debris will get inside the, or under the uh, case itself, uh, in between your MacBook and the uh, plastic case. Now, as long as you take your time removing the case to clean that off, you shouldn't really have any trouble uh, scratching a MacBook or anything, because I've taken this thing off probably 20 times by now just to clean it out once in a while, I'll probably do about maybe once or twice a week, but, um, you know, it can't, it doesn't, I haven't really scratched my, or I have not scratched my MacBook at all uh, with uh, taking this case off. And um, just, you know, as long as you take your time taking this case off, then you shouldn't really have any trouble, uh, you know, cleaning it out and uh, not scratching your MacBook. Uh, I will say, though, the uh, lid portion, or the top part of the case that covers the lid up here, uh, is a bit of a pain in the ass to take off. You literally have to pull it off sometimes. But um, as long, or what I'm trying to say is, it takes a bit of force to take it off. It's not that much, but it does take a bit of force. But as long as, like I mentioned, as long as you take your time, take it off, you shouldn't have any issues damaging your MacBook or anything like that. But anyways, um, yeah, definitely my number one accessory, and um, I'm not really sure where to start with this. It's just. If you had to choose between a sleeve and a hard shell case, definitely recommend the hard shell case. Uh, for example, say you're on your desk or something and you got a shelf above and you say you had like a bottle or something and it fell on it. Well, if it didn't have a case on, I'd be very worried because it might dent the thing or something because it is aluminum. Now, if you have the regular MacBook, which is plastic, it might chip it or crack it or something. With aluminum, it doesn't chip or uh, crack, it just dents, which looks just as bad. So, um, you know, having that extra, you know, plastic protection there definitely. Uh, you know, it feels a lot more better carrying this around without worrying about uh, you know being you know babying babying it all the time. But um, you know, it's it's a thousand dollar laptop, and if you get the fifteen or seventeen inch versions, it's gonna be a two thousand dollar laptop. So it's definitely something you want to keep nice and uh, you know keep it undamaged, and you never know what you might do with it. So say four years from now, you still have the thing; it looks brand new. You can definitely make some money off it, and then buy a new laptop. So keeping it nice does have its values, and uh, it's just you know it's it's a thousand dollar laptop. At least mine is, and it's just something I do want to keep nice as long as possible. But um. Anyways, uh, quick run through about my favorite features about this case. Uh, the in-case ones have a very nice uh, soft touch coating on them. And it's like a silky, rubbery kind of coating on, which uh, gives it this matte finish and also provides a bit of grip to it as well. At least far more grip than using it without the case when you're carrying your MacBook around. So it definitely helps with uh, carrying it around. And also, because it has a very nice matte finish, it won't scratch or you know look crappy uh, over time because it's very resistant, uh, scratch resistant finish. And it will definitely look a lot more nicer than having a regular glassy plas plastic finish. So you definitely you know, get a bunch of great features with it. Uh, my second favorite thing about this case is it has built-in um, feet, and um, let me just set it on top of this. And the feet, I just call them feet, I don't know what else to call them, but um, the built-in feet on the in-case themselves are far superior than the ones built-in on the MacBook. They're a lot, they provide a lot more grip, 
and uh, keep your MacBook from sliding on the desk or when you're typing or something. A lot more secure, and they're just they're really grippy, which I like a lot, and uh, they're pretty strong. Uh, they won't tear or anything like that very easily, but maybe over time you never know, depending on how hard you use it. But they're very strong, and uh, of course you do get a one-year warranty on this if something does happen in the case. Um, other thing on the on the bottom here, you do have a bunch of holes cut out for uh, the uh, vent, and uh, most of the heat does come through the uh, vents uh, behind the hinge here, which the fan blows out. But a lot of heat does dissipate through the MacBook Pro body itself, and of course, if if you have another layer of plastic on here, that helps insulate it, which is not good. So in case it was definitely smart enough to cut all these out so the heat can dissipate uh, through the metal and not interfere with the plastic. And I think that's it for the bottom. Um, you guys can kind of see here, this case is made in China, so don't expect perfect, perfect quality, but still a very nice case and fits the MacBook you know, without any issues at all. A uh, quick run through of the cutouts. Of course, you got a very nice cutout for the uh, optical drive and the Kensington key lock, which I have no idea what the hell you use it for. Um, over here, you have a small cutout for the uh, sensor, uh, remote sensor, and the sleep and wake light. Of course, the hinges, or the Hinge is also cut out so you can you know lift your MacBook lid up and down of course. Over here, you got a large cutout for all your ports that are exposed, Ethernet, all the way to charger, SD card, odd uh, headphone jack, all that stuff. And you also have a, a little built-in button here so when you press it, the uh, the battery meter uh, does shine through. And on the back here, of course, uh, back is also cut out so your hinge can be exposed. Uh, just so you can lift your lid up and down and if you do end up getting this case and you wonder why the uh, uh, Let me just focus on here if you wonder why the case doesn't go all the way to the top on the back here It's of course uh, when you lift the lid up there has to be clearance uh, Between the lid and the uh, MacBook Pro body itself in order for the lid to slide over it So if you have the uh, plastic go all the way up it won't open so I don't know if that made sense you guys But uh, that's why it's uh, not cut or that's why it's not it doesn't go all the way up now, in terms of the Apple logo, which a lot of people like, uh, when you do open this case up, it's a translucent design, so the Apple logo does shine through without any issues at all. As you can see, it kind of has a nice little glowing effect um, because it is a translucent and uh, a translucent uh, finish or design on it. So it does kind of look glowy and uh, actually looks pretty nice. But anyways, that's what it looks like when the lid is all opened up. And when you open up the MacBook, you can't really tell there's a case on it because um, it just goes up to the sides here. There are two clips on uh, the bottom piece here and another one that wraps around the uh, hinge here. And the uh, top piece here has two hinges two hinges on each side and one on the top here to keep it all together and keeps it pretty securely. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So. Um, if you're looking for a hard shell case for your MacBook Pro, I definitely recommend the in-case one. It looks fantastic. It fits pretty much perfectly, and you can you can definitely you definitely can't go wrong uh, with getting it. And I do recommend the Frostbite Edition, just because it keeps the look of the MacBook Pro and um, like black, green, pink. They're nice, but I just like everything to look kind of you know what they originally look like. And um, but um, yeah, guys, if you have any questions or comments, ask away. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. If you're wondering what these four dots are, they're not really a design defect or anything. Those are actually rubber feet built into the lid, and they actually keep the uh, corners of the case from actually touching the MacBook. So you know, if the case like shifts or something, it won't actually slide on the MacBook Pro itself. It would just you know slide on the feet. So that's you know a bit of a little design engineering there from in case and the in case logo is uh, engraved over here so you know they have to put it somewhere and decide decide to put it on the uh, bottom corner over here and I think that's pretty much it so um, definitely one of my uh, top accessories I do recommend getting for your MacBook Pro it, it's very protective you have protection right on the case um, uh, I do recommend getting some kind of sleeve though, for example, I have a nylon sleeve and then the reason I recommend that is just because it makes it easier to carry around. Even if a case on this, having a sleeve just is a lot more easier to carry around, that's all I can say about that. But uh, yeah, they're pretty inexpensive, like 20 bucks or 10 bucks if you get it on sale for a laptop sleeve. And um, yeah guys, so you know, it's a great case, keeps the look of the MacBook Pro, very slim as well. All your uh, ports and stuff are exposed, doesn't interfere with anything. And uh, I guess I will see you all in the next video. A piss.